Hi everyone, I'm recording this video to show you my answer keys to the midterm two, uh, midterm two coding part. Okay, there are a total of three questions. Okay, so let's take a look on the first one. So for the first one, we are going to take a nested list. And then what we are going to do is we want to extract the first item of each sublist. Okay, well, uh, say for this one, uh, well, from the top level, on this example, in this in this nested list, we have a total of three sublists, and then for each of the sublists, we want to extract the first item. So we want to extract red, and then yellow, and then blue, and then we want to put all of them into a new list. So well, uh, probably uh, for me, uh, and probably for you as well, this is a list building process. So we start from an empty list, and then we visit each of the sublists. And then when we are visiting the sublist, we want to grab the first item from the sublist and then do an append. We append the first item from each sublist to a new list we just built. So after we have finished visiting or touching all the sublists, and then we have all the first item of the first sublist uh, copied and appended to the new list, right? So this is my plan. I created a list called the list to return. And then I'm visiting all the members of the next list. Well, this is only one iteration and I only want to use one iteration because I'm touching each sublist from the top level. And then when I'm visiting one of the sublists, I'm only grabbing the first atom from the sublist using the index zero and then I'm doing an append. I'm appending that value to the list to return and then I will move on and touch the next sublist. Okay, so this is the process that I can touch or visit the sublist one by one and I'm grabbing the first value and then append that to a new list I have just built. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, and the second one is going to be a little bit harder. Well, we are t visiting files and the file name will be, uh, will be a sent by the color, so we don't need to worry about the file name. But since this is a formal parameter, when we are defining this function, we are assuming that this will be a, a file name that we can access. Okay, well, uh, and uh, let's see this part first. So for this part, I'm trying to open this file this, this file for reading purpose and then well I want to visit all the lines one by one and remember the requirement is well I'm taking the first line and then skip the second line and then I'm taking the third line so for all the lines if the line number is an on number and then I'm keeping that line and otherwise I'm skipping that okay so I'm gonna try to create a list a list called the lines to return and in addition I'm also creating a line counter so this line counter will come from one because I say well for the first line we count that as a line number one instead of zero okay so we still start the line counter from the one from one and then I'm visiting all the lines one by one and uh, inside I'm checking whether the line number is evenly divisible by uh, is the uh, divide by two is uh, will be will give you a, a one as a remainder if it is true and then we are visiting a line with an odd line number so we want to append the li uh, the lines to return uh, we, we want to append the current line to the lines to return and i want to increase the line counter by one <coughs> so eventually after i finish visiting all the lines one by one and cherry picking the lines i want to keep and then i want to close the file and i return the lines the lines to return so so far this is the scenario if the the file is accessible but there's another another case that will be if that file is somehow not accessible and then we want to return an error so for all this part i would say this could be the risky code it only works when the file 
exist. Otherwise, well, if there's any error, it will be catched and processed by the except block. So I'm going to simply return an error. OK, so the, the last one, well, we are writing contents to a file in this case. OK, well, we have a nested list again. And for this nested list and the, uh, the goal will be we are trying to uh, write the first item of each sublist into the file. So for this one, we have the uh, for this example, we have the one as the first item in the first sublist and then zero. That's the first item in the second sublist and then five. That is the first item in the third sublist. So anyhow, I'm visiting all the members of the items in the first sublist. And then I'm trying to write only the first item of each sublist into the file. And remember, when we write one item into the file, and then we have to do the line break. OK, so well, if you see my solution, I want to first open the file for writing purpose. And after that, again, I'm visiting all the members uh, in the sublist and I'm, I'm grabbing the first item using the index zero. But there's one more thing I want to do. Say for this one, for the one or zero or five, what are they? They are integers, right? And when we are writing something into a file, we have to write strings. So here's one step I want to do. I want to grab the first item using the index zero, and then I want to do a type casting. I want to cast that into a string. So after that, I'm ready to write. So file out dot write. So I'm writing this item, the first item as string and plus, well, for each item after I write them and then I want to do a line break. And how do I do a line break? That is a backslash n, right? So I'm writing the item as a string and then concatenate that with a line break. So for the next line, I'm going to start further down. OK, so that is uh, my solution to the three questions in the coding exam two. And I hope uh, this exam is not so hard or so frustrating for you. And uh, for now, and you will very soon have all the grades of the midterms. And if you have any questions, let me know. OK, bye.